hello again. So I'm just trying uh, something out. It's I've been pretty busy, uh, but I've reinstalled um, RVE um, because Pingle Pete you know, put RVE up on uh, GitHub now, so it's not just the uh, Mediafire link. And so I'm just testing it out again. Um, I think who was it? Blackrack. Yeah, somebody pointed out that I might have some weird settings. Uh, he said something about mitmaps. I don't know what those are. I'm just a tweaker. Um, so, you know, I changed some settings with my graphics card, kind of changed things, so I just figured I would you know, reinstall and kind of reconfigure my scatter and everything, and I think it looks a bit better. Um, so I'm going to, right, I suppose I may as well turn on uh, some ambient light adjust. I really, um, you know, don't feel like I need it when I'm playing, um, but here we go. So you can see, so my favorite time and the best time that you should, you know, do any test launches of your vehicles is at sunrise or just before sunrise. So then you'll see why uh, momentarily, I think. Uh, so this is kind of a Delta E launch vehicle, I think, or at least that's how I think of it. You know, it's certainly not a straight reproduction. Um, hmm, my memory usage has creeped up quite a bit, but I've done a number of reversions without having to restart. So this is just um, just plain RSS, RO, just the required mods, and um, you know, no parts packs or anything. I don't even have SSTU installed in this right now. Uh, and you know it's it's really a balance. Like I play in w a Windows 32 bit, and uh, it's like you know you can add some more parts or other things, but then you push your memory up and you're just really fighting against that memory bound. So if you're, you know, it's it's only going to be a month or two or whatever until we've got KSP 1.1 or and and RSS and RO and all the mods back functioning again. Um, so I don't know. I'd suggest just if you're new to it, just get kind of play with it um, with just the minimum minimal mods, uh, and just to kind of enjoy it rather than fighting against the the memory barrier. Um, so you can see all the lovely clouds. Uh, the dark because it's dawn. So I really like what we get with the. I'm not sure how well this will record, but we'll find out. Um, the hazy effect you get of the atmosphere at dawn. Uh, it's really nice, the like gradiated colors. I think part of that scatter, part of that's RVE, I really am not quite sure, but it looks really good. Now, something I need to figure out a bit is how sun flares work just in general. Uh, I really like, uh, I don't mess with very many graphical mods other than these couple, um, but long ago, um, you know, I did fiddle with pulling sun flares from other mods when you had to replace a shared asset to do it. And you know it's kind of kind of weird for me, so I just stopped messing with that. Uh, but yeah, recently I've been trying to build um, hardware for a Mars mission, and I've learned a ton. Uh, I wanted to record a video or two about it, but I just didn't uh, didn't find the time after everything else I was doing. Um, but at some point soon, I hope I'll have I'll start a series of videos where I show um, my final goal is to. Uh, kind of do something like Mars Direct, so I'll send one craft that goes to Mars unfueled, uh, fuels up and then builds up enough fuel either to to make Martian orbit and rendezvous with something else, or to do a full uh, direct, like, uh, get into Martian orbit and send itself back to Earth. Uh, so we'll see, you know, what design I go with, but there's just a, like literally a dozen major issues that you have to deal with in designing that, and that's what I want to do a series on, because kind of how to tackle each of those issues and do your work so that you're only fixing one of those at a time, figuring because you know you can't solve a dozen problems simultaneously. You kind of have to focus on mostly one at a time, you know, kind of lock in what you're learning and what you're gaining from it and you know progress from there. And I've made a ton of progress in it. Um, so I really like I, I feel like I'm seeing the color of the sky and the sunrise. It might be the extinction settings, but in the clouds, you know, and I really love, so the sun flare just looks amazing when you're launching at sunset. This is a just, I'll put the links again in the video as usual, um, but it's just, uh, it's just default. I haven't added any sun flares. I'm not sure if this flare comes with scatter or with RVE or what, but it just looks really good until about a, uh, 185 kilometers up. So I feel like that should be something I can disable. Um, but yeah, even if I launch like half an hour early or later, like you just get these whole different effects while you launch through a sunrise. So it's just amazing just the way 
the colors blend at the edge of the horizon, all the clouds are dark. Uh, I only tweaked one setting in RVE from the defaults, which was just the cloud height. Um, you know, Pingo Pete doesn't want to make them too high, but I just uh, raised it from 2000 to 3000. When apply and save, that's it. So this is OpenGL Windows, uh, OpenGL Windows 32-bit. You can see from my memory usage there on the side. I'm trying to do this recording in 60 FPS, not like it'll matter, but you know, I want to uh, do that test, get that comparison. It looks like it's torturing my CPU, so maybe that's not the best idea for me, but I just wanted to try it out. Uh, it just looks really good. Still kind of make out Florida and all the land down there. I really like the uh, sunrise landing, uh, sun rise launch. So, yeah, that's with and without ambient adjust on. I'm just uh, middle clicking. That switches between whatever two settings you've set. So I've set it to completely off and a little bit up so you can actually make out my craft. So I think I'm high enough now. I can drop the coverings. So, yeah, so I think this is kind of a delta delta ish craft. Uh, yeah, clouds, everything's still appearing. Yeah, of course, and it goes through a big transition. That's that's hard for it to figure out. You know, I'm not sure how it can patch between those two appearances in the in the PQS versus scaled space mode. But whatever, really, I you know, I'm happy because I like how it looks before the transition. I like how it looks after the transition. The only downside is that it's a bit jarring when it jumps over. But yeah, I can certainly live with that. Uh, let's see. Let's lower it down to. So we're not adding so much altitude. So I'm watching time to AP and my AP. This craft, it, I've kind of vaguely designed it to be something that could be a geostationary launcher. Um, you know, you notice that the scatter looks a bit different. I've, yeah, I've been tweaking with it, optimizing for different things uh, than I did before. If you like the old profile, you can use that because I still have that posted up, I believe. Um, See, the sun is just, yeah, uh, it, it's a decent sun flare. Obviously, I think there can be better ones, but it's just way better than what you'll see above 180 kilometers. So I'll focus, so you can see, or about 100, yeah, 185, I think, is when it jumps. If there's a way that I can just keep this one, I'd be totally fine with that, because one of the, uh, so my two favorite things in RVE, one is, there you go. Now it might be because that's when the sun goes above this line. Maybe you can't see that on the recording, but it's I think it's the post-processing line. But yeah, about 185 to 190 kilometers. Oh, and the stage burned out. I might not have even noticed. And that's so we have a hypergolic upper stage here. Not an American. I don't know anything about this engine, but it's got restarts. So in practice, I could use this to uh, deliver something to ge to a geostationary orbit. Huh. Yeah, see the sun just kind of goes away. Um, yeah, it's the first time I'm recording anything literally ever in the 60 FPS. Yeah, I'm not obviously not getting 60 FPS, but eh. Let's see how it works if this video even functions or records. So yeah, I've set up a kind of a whole new scatter optimization. But yeah, the clouds you can see they start to fade to gray as you you know, fly out over into the daytime. It's just a really small payload satellite type thing I have here. See, I never, it's weird, like, a, you know, six months or a year or longer ago, I never really cared to, to launch things in, you know, geostationary satellites or, um, and, and, you know, do much work in a low Earth orbit. But, uh, you know, I enjoy it a bit more now really like the um, some of the aesthetics or design concepts behind the the light reliable rockets like the deltas uh, so I believe I can see the uh, cloud shadows and the water even not just looks really good one setting I believe I know I changed uh, I, I went I kept the experimental atmo scale higher because it uh, kind of makes the atmosphere appear thicker here so you, obviously you can go with them. Like it, it has some other effects that you can counteract if you don't like them. You're just darkening, you're kind of enhancing all the other effects substantially. Uh, but I'll, you know, that's that's what I did it for. So the atmosphere appears to kind of 
haze out more, come out a bit more, um, particularly around sunrise. So yeah, my two favorite things in RVE, one is <laughs> one is the launch at sunrise, like I just did, and the other is what a sunset looks like, um, you know, from from orbit or you know when the sun goes down down the horizon. Uh, when I'm doing my you know my regular work, I uh, I often just have a video of the one of the what is it the H something H and then three letters the the satellite that's on or the camera that's on the uh, the ISS. It's just really neat to see sunrise and sunset from orbit. Uh, and in a previous RVE, I had things set up with a good sun flare, so it looked really nice when the sun dipped below the horizon. Here, I'll just cut it off here. There we go. Um, but it just doesn't look quite the same yet, um, but it still looks really good. I feel like this looks better than any previous version of RVE or EVE, and we've got Scatterer in the mix now. All in all, things come together really well. Hmm. Why is it not letting me really time warp? There we go. So I'll just do a quick time warp to get the sun below the horizon. Oh yeah, it's really chugging. So you can just get a brief glimpse of what uh, here, I'll slow it down, of what the colors of Africa look like with my current settings. I believe, um, I could be wrong, but I think I moved my old in to setting into the backup. I just renamed it as the backup, so here's my old settings. I also think it looks really nice. Apparently I optimized for more popping red. I wasn't necessarily the red I'm going for, I just wanted to be a bit brighter at my medium settings, because I usually had my uh, the contrast or you know, brightness cranked up on my screen. Uh, when I play, and I noticed that didn't translate as well in recording. So yeah, I feel like they both look really nice. Um, so it's my old one, I believe, and my new one. And I see my old one is a bit whiter in orbit. Yeah, that's just different optimizations. Uh, close that. But really, like, somebody could just make a thread of different optimizations of their scatter settings for different things. Yeah, I was trying to get scatter uh, working uh, better for Mars. It's it's a bit. I still find it a bit ugly, but I'm gonna share that around to a couple people and see what their opinion is of it. And uh, obviously, I'll have my scatter profile on when I do my Mars videos, so you can see, you know, the, the strengths and weaknesses of it. And for Venus, um, apparently, I have to generate a whole new one to get the right color of Venus because I can't reuse the Eve one for the due to the colors. So let me just quickly get around to, okay, so it'll be sunset over the ocean. So yeah, that's just, that's what um, Africa looks like with these color settings. I don't necessarily want it to be quite as red because it looks like it was redder than my old settings, but I like how the colors, um, how the kind of the brightness and contrast pop really well. Yeah, it's just, it's probably, probably a bit too red right now, but you know, good settings come with time. This is literally, uh, um, my first time booting. Uh, okay, so close to sunset. So Leo, it does look really nice. Yeah, I really like how it's brighter near the sun. But yeah, with the right sun flare, uh, it kind of does. Um, you know, uh, it does interesting things where the sun interacts with the atmosphere, uh, kind of like how the sun interacts with your real plume. If you've ever seen that effect. And I really liked how they kind of mingled together, kind of a graphical um, accident of, uh, and whereas here it's just, you know, the same sun kind of pokes in at the edge until the center spot of the sun um, is past the edge, and then it's gone. And then you can see, uh, what is that? Distant, yeah, distant object enhancer, pointing out those other planets. So yeah, there we go. So this is really the, th the one thing that I have left to figure out and optimize in RVE, but I think it looks really nice. I'll point, uh, post the links. This was really a simpler setup than I did uh, last time. I really just took RVE. Actually, let me also say anyway, because I want people to, you know, I don't have to say the same thing a ton of times. Um, let me go look. I took from the RV, I took from RVE, and yeah, I didn't really use the texture replacer. I just didn't uh, their texture replacer folder. So that's maybe why my memory's lower. I don't have um, see the sky map is just this basic stock one because it looks like that'll eat a good bit of memory, and um, I'm okay with the stock one. You know, I might test it out, but in this video, so that's the one thing I didn't take out of. I still don't take out of RVE. Um, also, I guess technically I didn't take his scatterer profile, but that isn't just you know. Uh, he might actually have higher compiled textures and stuff. I might test those out. 
Um, hmm, actually he has one named Venus. I might test his out. Um, maybe he has one compiled with Venus's proper colors. Uh, but anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed. You know, like if you liked it, leave any comments or questions. Uh, you know, check some old videos. I uh, might have addressed some of your pre some previous questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.